Hey guys, uh, Arnav here from Coding Talks, and uh, so I've been thinking of making this, uh, uh, I don't know, like not, not really a course or a series, but uh, just a set of learning materials around uh, design patterns. Uh, and uh, so we're going to be discussing uh, a few of the, you know, very common uh, design patterns which uh, people hear about a lot. So for example, the, you know, uh, factory pattern. Uh, then there is the you know uh, builder pattern uh, and mm, then there is the singleton uh, pattern and uh, a lot of times like we we do know like what these patterns are uh, that's that's not something that uh, might be confusing for a lot of people uh, but like when you're making a big project when is it that you really need to use uh, these kind of patterns and how do you like you know develop a project like they do it in the industry you know because uh, we start off making you know our applications say in c or in java in something like a main function and then we just call random functions and that's how we have been just building projects till now but uh, for a lot of people i mean i'm just saying uh, so so the kind of audience that i'm uh, making this uh, you know uh, set of videos for uh, but like where is the place where a factory pattern is useful uh, where is a place where something like a builder pattern is useful and something like singleton is useful and actually uh, we'll also see a little bit about this concept which uh, i feel is you know uh, dependency injection and uh, this is something that a couple of places where it is explained well it's explained using very complex examples uh, sample projects that are not very relatable for beginning uh, developers and I myself when I initially started learning about dependency injection it always felt like you know the readme's and the tutorials and they, they kind of target really complex stuff uh, because at the end of the day dependency injection uh, or a DI framework like dagger or uh, uh, juice uh, so uh, th those kind of frameworks they start making sense only when you have a very complex project um, so, we uh, will be actually making a project here and we'll make a simple project here and we'll make use of uh, all of these patterns. We will see, you know, where uh, these patterns, you know, make sense. Uh, so, and that's something that we will see. And uh, so, what we'll do here is we will try to build um, a, uh, you know, um, car builder uh, or a car uh, picker, you can say. So uh, we we have to decide basically like you know uh, what type of car we want. So for example, whether we want an SUV or you know a van, or we want a sedan, uh, that kind of stuff. And then uh, you know uh, we will uh, decide what kind of you know uh, fuel will it run on, whether it will uh, run on you know uh, petrol or whether it will run on you know uh, diesel or even you know uh, electricity. So we have to decide all of that stuff. Uh, we have to decide like, you know, uh, the size, we have to decide the number of seats it has. So whether it is supposed to be a, you know, uh, a four seater or a six seater or an eight seater, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, right. Uh, we need to uh, decide its uh, engine. So the engine would uh, kind of, uh, you know, depend on what kind of fuel we're uh, using here. Right. And, uh, you know, like like the engine uh, how much uh, displacement will it have whether it will be uh, you know a 2000 cc engine or 3000 cc engine um, what uh, rpm uh, and uh, what, what what horsepower kind of engine we want we want you know a 200 bhp engine or a 400 bhp engine stuff like that okay uh, so how powerful an engine do we want so we need to add an engine to this uh, vehicle uh, then we have to you know uh, pick our uh, wheels as well so first of all like how many wheels so mostly cars have fours but some cars have six wheels as well depending on like if you're having like a mercedes uh, you know g truck or like a ford uh, super truck uh, so they have like six wheels or something like that right and uh, you know these wheels need to have like uh, tires so we'll have to decide even in the wheels whether like they have alloy rims or steel rims and then uh, like the tires like do we want like tires with big treads little treads what size of the tires so 
uh, that would be needed then uh, you know when we decide the seats uh, then we need to decide like you know what our you know upholstery is like so upholstery is basically like it can be the leather or linen or uh, rexine uh, stuff like that that's what our seats will be like you know uh, so yeah i mean uh, building a car and then it will depend on your needs uh, you know uh, whether you want a city vehicle whether you want off road vehicle whether you you know want to carry luggage in it or not so uh, we will basically make in this uh, project will be a very simple project we will have a vehicle class an engine class uh, you know uh, wheel class like not have more than 5 6 classes in this project and we will it will be a cli program uh, so i'm not you know uh, getting into more complex stuff like you know swing or something to make ui or an android app or something like that uh, so i'm going to be making it a very uh, ui kind of an app uh, it will a gui uh, not a gui kind of an app it will be a cli app so people using the command line can pick uh, their options uh, whether you know uh, they can if they want a uh, you know Mm, uh, what kind of tire they want what size uh, this and that all of that stuff uh, what they want so uh, this will all uh, go into uh, you know our uh, command line interface and we'll be building this and while we build that we will be making use of uh, factory pattern the builder pattern uh, maybe the singleton pattern i'm actually going to start building it and let's see uh, I, I i don't have it planned out in my mind right now I'm gonna see maybe singleton might get used somewhere and then we'll see also dependency injection uh, how uh, we can use that so uh, we would be you know uh, making it uh, in um, Kotlin uh, so that's the language that I would be using but uh, if you are like a Java uh, person then also it will feel very familiar because I will be using Kotlin on uh, JVM okay so like most of the java concepts are what i'm going to be using the classes interfaces and override and all of that stuff uh, they'll be java related but the syntax would be in kotlin i want to do it in kotlin because uh, like this is the language that i'm most comfortable writing in these days uh, i write a lot of android stuff and also like a lot of the people who are learning java uh, they, they should also learn kotlin because it's like kind of the future for java people uh, most many server and application projects are moving to Kotlin these days uh, if you're an Android developer or you want to be one then also you need to learn Kotlin so it's in Kotlin but the the, the focus would not be a lot on the language in this uh, particular video uh, if, if you are somebody who is comfortable with the language like you know C++ it should still feel uh, understandable to you Although maybe the dependency injection and all that part, uh, we might use like a Java specific framework like Dagger, uh, but we'll get to that. But yeah, uh, so this is uh, what we're going to be doing. It uh, would be a pretty boring, uh, so I can warn that to you right in the beginning. Like it's not something where, you know, uh, the step one, we will have a button and we'll click that button and something will happen. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of code. Uh, because this is about uh, coding uh, architecture patterns so if you're really interested in understanding architecture patterns and uh, i think my my objective here is to explain it in uh, terms of a simple project rather than making a very complex project which uh, people don't relate to uh, i think uh, making a car is something we all can relate to and uh, so we'll do that and uh, let's see how it goes uh, so we'll start off with the you know actual coding in the next few videos uh, as an id uh, you know uh, i will be using uh, intellij idea uh, and uh, i'll be using uh, gradle to build the project so if you are you know uh, seeing this video so how to create a project and setting up using intellij and how to set up gradle for building your application these are all the things that uh, you will end up learning uh, in this uh, set of videos okay so, so let's get started, I think, right? Uh, 